I'm going to be going on a two night survival trip and I'm only going to be using my everyday carry items. The items I carry with me every day. So I'm going to be showing you what I do to prepare for this trip. Uh, the first thing I need to do is to find an area to uh, go to. And what I did is I found about 280 acres of BLM or public land. When you print off maps, the ink that's used in uh, most printers, when it gets wet, it'll smear. So what I do is I waterproof it by using clear coat, just spray paint. Uh, and you spray it on, it makes the map absolutely waterproof. These are finished, clear-coated um, maps, aerial photographs of where I'm going. This is the main, this area here is BLM. I took off our county surveyor's website and uh, printed off. You know, it tells you what is, you know, who owns the land, and so this is BLM land. So what I have to do is cross the river to get to the other side because all this is land, or locked in by private property but I can get down to the river from the road here and cross over to here and then I can hang out over here. And I also printed off um, topographic maps of it, of the area. This is that big flat. I'll, I'll be dropped off pretty much right here. Is I don't want to get out here and and then find out that uh, I can't even get across the river. There's no access, or it's too difficult to to do. Unfortunately, the river's too swift down that way. Yeah, I can a little ways up the creek here. That's not too bad. I might be able to get across here. Go up a little more. Oh yeah. That's not bad at all. Inner tube, anything, rubber dinghy. I think that should work just fine. Might get a little wet, but that's okay. I think I just need to patch a few holes and Here's another thing I like doing. I like checking the forecast, which I do daily pretty much all the time anyways. Uh-oh. So it looks like we're going to have some uh, rain starting Friday night, rain all day Saturday, Saturday night, Sunday morning. Oh, man. Initial cold strong front will be followed by a stronger wetter frontal system Sunday through Tuesday. Yeah, that's right. Interesting. So we might be in for some icky weather. Next is to make sure that your everyday carry gear is in good, proper functioning order, which you should be keeping up on all the time anyway, since you carry it every day. Make sure your knives are sharp. They don't do any good if they can't cut. Make sure your lighter is full of fluid and in good working order. Doesn't do any good if it can't make a fire. Make sure your flashlight has good, fresh batteries. Doesn't do any good if you can't see anything with it. Well, that pretty much concludes the preparations for my everyday carry survival trip. 
Hope we have a good time, and I'll be sure to bring you along. An interesting thing happened while I was out scouting. Um, while I was driving along, a deer got hit by a car while I was driving by and videotaped me. And I happened to catch it, a little bit of it on video. So I'll show that now. And if you don't like seeing stuff like this, then turn the video off. I just thought it was quite a odd coincidence that I happened to be videotaping at the same time. Anyhow, it's not graphic really. It's just kind of strange. Oh my goodness! 